this is question number 2.2 from Dathan uh, which is to find the velocity of piston when the angular velocity of the crank that is link 2 is given using I center method so first of all we have to copy the space diagram and name different links the fixer link is 1 uh, then crank is 2 and so on okay so here we, are, we have to find out only the velocity we don't have to find out all the isenders so we need only uh, the relevant isenders so in this case since uh, v6 is required and omega 2 is given so we have to find out i26 only we don't have other uh, we don't know how to find out or locate other incident centers. Okay, we have to locate only I26. But it is not uh, possible to locate I26 only. We have to locate some I centers and then using these I centers we have, we have to proceed. So how I26 is obtained from other points that is that we will discuss first. Okay, so for that uh, we can easily uh, mark I centers such as I12, I23, uh, etc. You can easily mark I12. So there is a mistake in the diagram uh, in the I center. This is I12. This is I23. This is not I. This is I23. This is I34. Okay. This point is the intersection of one and two. So so it is I12. Similarly, this is intersection of 2 and 3. So, this is I23. This is I34. This is I34. Okay. Similarly, this is I14, I45, and I56. Then, what about I16? 6 is the fixed, I mean, 6 is the sliding link, and 1 is the fixed link. So, with respect to the fixed link, 6 moves in a vertical line. Okay, so the I center will be perpendicular to the line of sliding. Okay, so the I center will be horizontal line. So you have to draw horizontal lines from all the fixed points. Okay, so here there are three fixed points. From all these three points you can draw horizontal lines. This is one horizontal line, this is another horizontal line, and this is the third horizontal line. So all these lines can be assumed to be containing the point I16 okay and i16 is at infinity uh, in the case of sliding the i center is at the infinity okay uh, so we have got uh, seven i centers from inspection okay now we can mark the i centers in a polygon so first uh, here you have to mark six points one two three four five six join the points for example join 1 and 2 since 1 2 is obtained you can join 1 and 2 using a thick line similarly you can join 2 and 3 3 4 okay so 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 1 and 1 4 so you can uh, obtain four uh, sorry seven thick lines seven thick lines uh, i will join here join 1 and 2 Join 2 and 3, join 3 and 4, then 4 and 5, 5 and 6, 1 and 6, and 1 and 4, 1 and 4. Okay, so next you have to join 2 and 6 because we have to find out i26 so join 2 and 6 using a dotted line because it is not readily available in our diagram 2 and 6 is not there so join we have to find out 26 so we have to join 2 and 6 using a dotted line okay now you consider two lines 
which starts from 2 and end in 6 2 in start in 6 will ask you to consider 2 lines for example 2 1 and 1 6 okay 2 1 and 1 6 so join 2 1 and 1 6 in the space diagram here 2 1 Vocês <laughs> 2, 3 and 3, 6 2, 4 and 4, 6 then 2, 5 and 5, 6 okay so if we consider 2, 3 and 3, 6 you can see that 2, 3 is readily available but 3, 6 is not there again if you consider 2, 5 and 5, 6 we have 5, 6 but we don't have 2, 5 and if you take 2, 4 and 4, 6 so in this combination 2, 4 and 4, 6. So in this particular combination, we have neither 2, 4 nor 4, 6. So, we don't have 2, 4 or 4, 6. Okay. So, uh, you may be tempted to consider the other two lines. I mean, the other two combinations. That is 2, 3 and uh, 3, 6 or 2, 5 and 5, 6 because in each case we have 2, 5 I mean 2, 3 and 5, 6 but actually if you take the combination 2, 3 and 3, 6 2, 3 is there but 3, 6, 3, 6 is not there so if you try to find 3, 6 it will be more complicated it will be difficult similarly if you uh, try to if you try to locate 2, 5 it will be uh, make things more complicated so once you try it you can easily see that these two are difficult so the only possibility is 2 4 and 4 6 so now I will consider 2 4 and 4 6 so this is 2 4 ok you have to join 2 and 4 2 and 4 using a dotted line. Okay. Again here also 2, 4 is not there. But again you can you can locate 2, 4 by taking uh, 2, 3 plus 3, 4 and 4, 1 plus 1, 2. Okay. Then what about the uh, next combination that is 4, 6 this is 4 6 so to find 4 6 you have to join 4 1 and 1 6 plus 4 5 and 5 6 so I will uh, write the combination for 2 4 so 2 4 equal to 2 3 plus 3 4 and uh, 4 1 plus 1 2 Similarly, 4, 6 equal to 4, 5 plus 5, 6 and 4, 6 equal to 4, 5 plus 5, 6 and uh, 4, 1, 4, 1 plus 1, 6 okay so these are the possible combinations you can locate 2 4 using the uh, this combination and you can locate 4 6 using this combination now you got 2 4 and 4 6 so with with the help of these two you can find uh, you can apply here and you can locate 2 6 so this will give i2 i2 6 okay so once you have the uh, uh, once you have the 
location of i26 then it will be uh, just application of uh, velocity, angular velocity uh, angular velocity theorem just uh, imagine that the i center 26 is on 2 and also it is a point on 6 so you can just uh, uh, find the distance and apply the equation that we already discussed in other problems okay so the only only difficult part is to locate i26 once you have this i26 then it is uh, very easy okay okay so after completing the hexagon and uh, different lines our next step will be to locate 2 4 and 4 6 so to locate 2 4 and 4 6 first of all we can locate 2 4 to locate 2 4 take 2 3 and 3 4 that is this is 2 3 this is 2 3 and uh, this is 3 4 so you join this line and extend okay so that is one line and the second line is 4 1 plus 1 2 4 1 plus 1 2 uh, this is 1 2 and this is 4 1 so 4 1 and 1 2. so join 1 4 and 1 uh, uh, 4 1 and 1 2 and extend that line so there will be a point of intersection it will be somewhere here okay so that point will be 2 4 okay so 2 4 is the intersection of two lines which are the two lines one line is the line joining 2 3 and 3 4 and the second line is line joining 4 1 and 1 2 so these two lines will intersect at i 2 4 so you got i 2 4 in the same way you can obtain 4 6 by joining 4 5 and 5 6 and 4 1 and 1 6 so these two lines will intersect at 4 6 so now you got 2 4 and 4 6 now by joining 2 4 and 4 6 you will get another line we already got uh, one line that is uh, this line so we already got one line now we will uh, uh, that is uh, we already got the line joining 1, 2 and 1, 6. Like, we have to get this line. Now, this line is 2, 4 plus 4, 6 in the line. 2, 4 plus 4, 6 in the line. Extend it. Now, the intersection is going to be I, 2, 6. Now, the other thing is going to be I, 2, 6. That's what I'm going to explain.